What's up everyone? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today and welcome back to the second part where you are going to learn how to improve your alternate picking by going from the high E string to the low E string and as usual I am going to provide you with the tabs so that you guys can follow along with me. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's see what we are going to play today. Since we are starting on the first string, we are going to go on the 10th fret straight away with our pinky finger starting with a downstroke. Then on the 8th fret with our second finger an upstroke. Then on the 7th fret first finger a downstroke again. So we have played. Next we are going to go to our second string on the 10th fret with our fourth finger back again at the first string on the seventh fret and then again on the eighth fret with our second finger so till now we have played something like Next, we are going to go for the triad motion, which will start on the 10th fret, then on the 8th fret, and on the 7th fret of the first string. Next, we are going to go for the second string on the 10th fret, 8th fret, and the 7th fret of our second string. So we have covered. Putting it all together, we are going to get something like Next, we shall move to our second string just like we did on our previous video. Therefore, we shall start on the 10th fret, 8th fret and 7th fret of our second string then we shall move to the third string 10th fret second string 7th fret and 8th fret second string so we have got something like then comes our triad motion which goes from the second string 10th fret 8th fret, 7th fret and then we shall move to the 3rd string on the 10th fret again, 8th fret and the 7th fret. Putting it all together, we are going to get something like Having ended on the 3rd string, we shall start again on the 3rd string itself and start again on the 10th fret, 8th fret, 7th fret, move on to the 4th string at the 10th fret, back again to the 3rd string at the 7th fret, to the 8th fret of the 3rd string, we have got something like Next, of course, is the triad which starts again from the 3rd string, 10th fret, 8th fret, 7th fret, then we move to the 4th string to finish it off at the 10th fret, 8th fret and the 7th fret. Therefore, we have got something like And thus we are going to start again on the fourth string itself remember 
the string which you end on becomes the starting point again. So, Now from the fifth string again. In this way, we are going to go from the high E to the low E. After completing all the 6th string, try to move around the neck. Start from the 12th fret and move along the neck as far as possible. Let me show you. So instead of starting on the 10th fret, let's start on the 12th fret. Next, move on to the 11th fret. Now on the 10th. Now on the 9th. and move along all over the fretboard. So in this way, we can go from the 12th fret all over to the 4th fret. Remember guys to be absolutely slow when you're starting it off and build your accuracy as you progress on. Then you can speed things a little bit and move all over the fretboard. So guys, that's all for today's video. In the next video, we shall learn how to incorporate the ascending leg as well as the descending leg and play it all across the fretboard. We shall also change our finger patterns as well. So please be absolutely thorough with this lesson. And if you have missed my previous lesson, please do check it out. And I'll see you guys the next time.